Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about going back to the old Edge browser on your Windows 10 computer. So, if you want to revert back to the older version of Edge, which I don't believe is going to be supported any longer, um, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Now, I was aware of previous ways you could actually have both the new version of Edge, the Chromium based build version of Edge, as well as the older one. However, from my experimentation with that, it appears that it won't actually let you revert back to the old one unless you remove the new one first. So that's what we're going to do first. So we're going to start by opening up the Start menu, type in Microsoft Edge. Best match to go back on Microsoft Edge here. Go ahead and right click on it and select Uninstall. And then in this control panel list, you want to select Microsoft Edge and then select Uninstall. Select yes if you receive a user account control prompt. Select uninstall. And then once you're done with that, you can close out of here. Now I would suggest restarting our computer just so we get a fresh slate here for what we're going to do next. Okay, so now what we want to do is open up the star menu, type in Reg Edit. Best match to go back to Registry Editor. You want to right click on that and then select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now, before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything went wrong, you can easily restore it back. And in order to create the backup, it's very simple. Just go ahead and left click on the file tab and then export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Export range should be kept to all and then save it to a convenient location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back again, you just would select file and then import and navigate to the file location. So again, pretty straightforward. And now we're ready to begin. So go ahead and double click on the HK local machine folder to expand it. Do the same thing for the software folder. Same thing for policies. And then finally, there should be a Microsoft folder. Just go ahead and left click on that one time. Now right click on this Microsoft folder that we've selected. Select new and then select key. You want to call this key exactly what I'm going to have on the screen of the video here, and it's going to be called Edge Update. The first letter of both words should be capitalized. Everything else should be lowercase. So again, Edge Update. Hit Enter on your keyboard. 
Now on the right side, now that we've selected Edge Update, you want to right click in a blank area, select New, and then select DWORD 32-bit value. You want to name this value Allow SXS. So again, Allow, S is in Sally, X is in Xylophone, S is in Sally, exactly how it appears on my screen, okay? Hit Enter on your keyboard to save that, double click on it, set the value data to 1. So delete the 0, type the number 1, select OK. At this point you can close out of the registry editor, restart your computer, and now we're going to just wait and then Microsoft Edge should be restored back once we relaunch Windows here. So just give it a moment. Okay, so now that we have started our computer back up and we type in Edge, and we go ahead and open that up, we see we got the classic Microsoft Edge installed. Perfect, looking good. You can pin it to the taskbar if you want. And that was pretty much it. Pretty basic tutorial, guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.